Hi everyone, just wanted to take some time today to quickly share how you can use Dream Booth and Stable Diffusion to train a deep learning model on pictures of your face and output profile pictures based on a prompt. Uh, it's super easy, you don't have to be technical. Uh, just I'll leave some of the links that you need in the description, so let's get into it. To start off, just go ahead to the Dream Booth Stable Diffusion iPy Notebook. You should be logged in with your Google Drive. We're gonna go ahead and just start running different commands here. So we're gonna go do the install requirements. We also wanna get a Hugging Face token. So if you don't have a Hugging Face account, go and make a Hugging Face account. Visit the model card, not there. Visit the model card, and there'll be something where you have to say, yes, I agree. So make sure you check that out. Uh, and then you wanna grab a token. So you can go to your profile, edit profile, access tokens. And you can create a new token right here. I already have one, and it only has to be a read token. You can copy it and paste it here. Cool, and now we can go ahead and log in. Let's also run this installation. Run these settings, don't change anything. Uh, in this concepts list here, let's go ahead and uncomment these lines, and that's just getting rid of those pound symbols over there. You can comment these lines out because we want a UKJ person, not a dog. Uh, and we can also queue that cell up. Next step is uploading pictures of ourselves. So what we want to do for this is you want to go to bearme.net. I'll leave this below uh, and put in a bunch of pictures of yourself. They don't have to be the same dimension because bearme will take care of making sure that they're all 512 by 512. Go ahead and save files, allow. I'm going to go ahead and download a bunch of files. So let's go ahead and download as a zip. They'll make it easy. I'm just going to go ahead and open the zip. Uh, it says choose files. And grab all the pictures. Perfect. Now it's going to go ahead and pull each of them in. And once all the images are loaded in, we can go ahead and run the train dream boat the dot pi uh, method. And it'll take around 15 minutes, right? So let's say 800 out of 800. If you haven't changed any of the parameters, about 13 to 15 minutes and should be done. Uh, run the other cells as well. So run the weights directory cell, the conversion cell, and the inference cell. And then you can put in a prompt. The way I usually like to pick my prompts is by going to Lexica uh, and doing like a simple search, for example, like Star Wars portrait, finding an image I like. Copy the prompt and basically put it in portrait of UKJ person as a Jedi. Let's get rid of this part so basically you can use lexica to find images that you like and then the prompts that were used to generate those and finally this is the fun part and also we, we change num samples to 10 so you can just look at more images at once it takes a little longer though we can run i'll take a moment it'll take about 30 seconds and once that's done running so it takes about a minute you can take a look at all of the resulting images um, so hopefully i had fun following along um, and yeah, excited to see what you guys make with generative art and with profile pictures.